Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another What's New in Transformers. Heck, yeah. Love talking about new Transformers. Don't have them in hand. Just like to chit-chat. So sit back and relax, and let's talk about some freaking Transformers. All right, all right, all right. All right, up first, as always, add-on kits, add-on kits, add-on kits for days, but... Once again, we don't have anything to do for add-on kits. So moving on to third party legends, we got the new box and box art for New Age Toys. Uh, this is for Wind Charger and Tailgate. All right, can't wait for this. Uh, have this on pre-order, should be coming in pretty soon. So there you go, Wind Charger and Tailgate. That's a, see, that's a good two pack right there, New Age. That's really good right there to get those two right there. That's awesome, so there you go, New Age Toys. All right, and we got some new picks from Dr. Woo Woo Woo. This is Fire Ladder and Grapple Hook, also known as Inferno and uh, they also got hauler as well so there you go looks pretty cool cannot wait i've got inferno already just waiting for hauler i think he's coming in a two pack as well so very good stuff so yeah dr woo 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 that's uh, inferno and hauler coming soon and we got some in-hand picks from iron factory this is their chaos blaze also known as the fallen and uh, he is coming out pretty soon i showed the box last week and man this thing looks freaking wicked i love it love the flame effects looks really nice the alt mode looks good. The bot mode looks just really, really, really intimidating. It looks really nice. I like it. So I'm really excited for this. Hopefully it should be coming in soon from uh, Show Z or something over there. So really, really can't wait for this. So this is Iron Factory IFEX72 Chaos Blaze. And this is their Fallen. And man, definitely hurry up and get in my collection. And also from Iron Factory IFEX75, this is the uh, original Warrior Great 8 General. Uh, this is Optimus Primal in the Samurai series, and my gosh, this thing looks wicked as well. I love it. Love the two swords. Love the bot mode. The alt mode looks pretty good as well, but man, this thing looks pretty awesome. I like the Beast War stuff, what they're doing with that. I like Cheetor and uh, Black Arachne. It looks pretty good as well. So really excited for this. Uh, hopefully this will be coming out pretty soon. This is IFEX75. This is the Great Ape General or Optimus Primal in the Samurai series, and man, definitely hurry up and get my collection. Come on now. All right, also from Iron Factory, I know this was from April Fool's and everything, but they gave us a little teaser or whatever thing. Uh, looks like it looks going to be like Predator King or something coming, but, you know, it's probably, I would love for them to do a Predator King. I think it'd be pretty cool, the Predacons. Um, but yeah, like I said, this was April 1st, April Fool's kind of thing, but it'd be pretty cool if they do it later on. You know, Iron Factory, you know, there you go. All right, up next, we got MPN third party news, and we got new stuff from Fans Hobby. We got first color or full color samples of MB22 Skyflame. This is the Armada Jetfire. We have it in space shuttle mode. We also have it with overload, uh, carrying him around everything. And then we also have it in bot mode as well, too. Man, I cannot wait for this. I cannot wait to combine to get him, uh, you know, Optimus Prime some. Uh, you know, new pants and everything, new legs, some Lieutenant Dan legs and everything, so it looks pretty good. That thing is going to be huge with overload, him, and jet fires and pants and everything, man. Very nicely done. So, yeah, cannot wait for this. Armada uh, jet fires coming out. This is uh, color samples of MB-22 Skyflame. Man, can't wait. Freaking heck yeah, I can't wait. And yeah, we got a new pick from KC Toys. This is Jinra, or their uh, God Jinra, this is Power Master Prime. And it looks like it's going to be estimated to be out in October. So I know they put out the trailer already. Uh, people are just waiting for the uh, bot mode and everything. So there you go. There's a nice prototype pick of a red Optimus Prime, or also known as Jinra, from KFC. And we get to see the new box for uh, Unique Toys R06 Red Dasher, or their Dino, or Dino, or Mirage, whichever you want to call him. Um, you can see the box and everything, get to see how he's packaged. Uh, he should be coming out pretty soon. I think he's coming soon to uh, Show Z, so really excited for that. So there you go. That is Unique Toys R06 Red Dasher, or their Mirage or Dino from uh, uh, Dark of the Moon, I think it was. So yeah, looks pretty cool. Can't wait. And we got more picks of Cyber Air. This is their Drift. We also see some, we saw some uh, bot picks last week, but now we also have the helicopter and the car mode as well. And we get some, uh, you know, comparisons with the Bumblebee suit so, and uh, Soundwave as well. So this is uh, looking pretty cool. I uh, may try to go in this. So this is Cyber Air Drift. And yeah, it looks pretty neat o petito. Let's go. And we got some new picks from Magic Square. This is MS-02SG. This is their Mirror Commander, also known as Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. And this is MP scale. Usually, you know, Magic Square is Legends, but they do have some uh, MP stuff in it as well. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I wish they would have put some cracks on the window. That would have been really nice to add it. But I love that purple and that green turquoise deco. Looks really nice. I like it. So there you go. Magic Square Mirror Commander. And this is their Shattered Glass Prime. Man, looks pretty freaking awesome. And also moving on to MMC. This is their Ocular Max. This is PS25 Insertus. So this is more test shots of their groove. 
uh, from the protective bots. We get to see one in the uh, bot mode and the rest we get to see in alt mode and everything. So really looking forward to this. Glad they're finally moved on with this stuff. So there you go. MMC PS25 in Certus, or this is their uh, group from the protective bots. All right, good stuff. And also from MMC, Ocular Mass, this is their new stuff. This is the IS02 Stray. They're calling it Infinite Finity. Uh, this is their new line they're going to do, and they should give us a drift. And uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Not to be, I mean, to be honest, I like it. It looks really good. You get to see these comparisons with uh, MP Sideswipe. Uh, you get to see bot mode. It looks pretty, you know, like he's, you know, well articulated. It looks like he can do the Iron Man pose. Uh, you also see the car mode as well, and that looks pretty cool as well. So I really like this. I, I'm definitely probably going to go in on this. So it looks pretty nice. So this is Ocular Max. This is MMC Infinite. Infinity. This is their new line they're doing. IF02 straight. And uh, this is their drift. And man, yeah, get my collection. Let's go. Now that also shows the artwork for the stray as well. And this is called Infinite Infinity uh, Project Time Lad. And they showed the uh, you know Back to Future and everything. I don't know. This was on April Fools. So I don't know for sure if this is real or not. I think they may have just thrown this in as a joke. So we'll see. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. That's a nice drawing. But yeah, there you go. Ocular Max Infinite Infinity Project Time Lad. And um yeah, I think it's just April Fools. And also from MMC, this is Ocular Max. This is IF01L Eris, or they're calling they're calling this Lunasist. Lunasist, I think that's what they're calling it. Um, this is a you know a female version of Galvatron. Uh, now this could be April Fools as well, but they did show the original one, which was the Armada Megatron. Uh, they did show that on uh, April Fools as well, and that came out. So this may come out as well. I hope it does. It looks pretty cool so far. Uh, I do like the mold and, uh, you know, to get a Galvatron out of that looks pretty cool. So yeah, hope this is true. But this is Ocular Max MMC IF01L Eris, or they're calling it Lunacist. And uh, yeah, Galvatron. Pretty cool. And moving on to DX9 Toys is coming out strong. So they got some more picks for their uh, Detective, is what they're calling it you know, detective or anything like that. This is Prowl. Now, if you've already seen this one, but it looks a whole lot better now. The chest looks put together and doesn't look split, you know, split wide open. It looked like he had, you know, boobs and everything. But yeah, looks really good. The car mode looks nice. Looks like you get a couple head sculpts as well. And they showed off a Red Storm as well. Their side swipe. And man, I love that weapon. Kind of take the pile driver thing going on with the hammer. And it looks, looks really good. Both of them look really nice, man. DX9 Toys is coming back. But... Is it enough to go away from the MP ones? You know, the Takara Masterpiece ones? You've already had those. You know, they were pretty good. They still hold up. Uh, but these look pretty good. I like them. I could probably see myself getting these to be bot mode and then leave the MP ones or the Takara ones in, uh, you know, bot or um, alt mode. Their car modes and everything. So, yeah, really liking the Red Storm. And uh, Prowl looks good as well. So, there you go. DX9 Toys is giving us some MP scale car bots. And I cannot wait. We look pretty good. All right, moved on to official Transformer news and Transformers mu music from the original animated series vinyl Amazon listing official images. And we got a new official cover uh, revealed as well. This is a new improved release of the G1 uh, score vinyl release in 2018. Now it's a double vinyl with 42 tracks from season one, two, and three, plus two new tracks. We also have the first look at the new front and back covers uh, from artist My uh, Matt Ferguson. Uh, so yeah, this top it off the new Transformer. Uh, theme tune 40th anniversary mix used during the last fan stream is also available as well so that's pretty cool so there you go music from the original animated series vinyl is on amazon and um got official you know images that's pretty cool i'll put the uh, information in the description so you can try to order if you want to and up next we got in images of takara tomi transformers beast wars fandom confrontation ghost of starscream versus waspinator the set contains a clear version of earthrise starscream mode with a new redeco of the king uh, kingdom waspinator uh, inspired by their appearances in the Beast Wars episode Possession. We have several images of packaging in each bot, plus comparison shots and previous releases as more and everything as well. Uh, definitely have this on pre-order because you know I love some Starscream and I love Clear Transformers. So there you go. in -hand images of Ghost of Starscream and Waspinator. All right, can't wait. And it looks like we got some slightly clearer images of the Takara MP60 Genra and MPG09 Super Genra. Uh, like I showed you this last time, but we got some clearer picks. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. You know, I'm excited for both of them. So there you go, clear picks. And it looks like Legacy United Voyagers Wave 2 is found at U.S. Retail that consists of Silverbrot and Cybertron Universe Starscream. They were found in Texas in Target. So happy hunting. And it's some sad news. G1 Marvel comic artist Mark Bright has passed away. Uh, Mr. Bright is also known as MD Bright or Doc Bright. Passed away on March 27th at 68 years old. 
His role in Transformer franchise was remarkable as the artist of G1 uh, Marvel Comics covers on issues 5, 7, 8. And issue 5 number is featuring Shockwave with All Are Dead, which is one of the, you know, iconic, you know, comic books and everything. So, yeah. So, unfortunately, he has passed away. Rest in peace, Mr. Mark Bright. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about is WonderCon 2024 Transformer panel recap. All right. So, they shot off a lot of stuff. Recent reveals are reviews. So, Studio Series, they showed the Sunstreaker from the Bumblebee movie, uh, the Deluxe Gamer Sideswipe, Voyager Bumblebee movie Shockwave, Leader Class Dinobot Swoop. Everybody's excited for that. They also showed a Space Bridge reveals as R.I.D. Sideburn, Car Cybertron Hotshot, and Infernac Nucleus, and then Voyager Vector Prime will be coming as well. Awesome. Can't wait for that. So yeah, that is awesome. Uh, we're going to talk about Swoop a little bit and some other ones. And I'll show you some pictures real quick. So it looks like that, you know, Hasbro was holding a private event showing off some of the goodies that were in the on the panel. So like I said, you got to see Leader, uh, Leader Class Swoop. Final Dinobot we needed. Everybody's been waiting for that. Uh, we got to see Bumblebee Sunstreaker. I did a review of him. If you want to go check that out? Definitely like that. Uh, War for Cybertron Sideswipe. Yeah, I may I may get that. I don't know. Maybe a pass on that. And then you had the Bumblebee movie Shockwave. Definitely gonna get that as well. Uh, had a great uh, you know a lot of picks out there and everything. Looks really good. Swoop. I'm I'm excited for it. You know I finally finished off the Dinobots. Looks pretty good. Um, he comes with two swords. Uh, you know, transformation kind of looks simple, you know, just like Swoop is as well and everything. So, yeah, really looking forward to that. And like I said, Shockwave looks pretty good as well. I think he's already out in some areas, I think, maybe Australia or something like that. Um, like I said, Sunstreaker I already have. Um, I did a review for him. He's pretty cool. I like him. And uh, Sideswipe, you know, probably my least favorite out of the ones, but I, I may pick him up if I see him. I don't know for sure yet, but we'll see. So, yeah, there you go. Well, all right, folks, that's all this week for news. And, man, once again, jam-packed full of great stuff. Man, DX9 is coming in hard with Sideswipe and Prowl. Man, we got that uh, fans hobby Jetfire from Armada looks really good. Man, Iron Factory coming in good as well. Man, I love, love that Chaos Bringer uh, or, you know, the Fallen. Everything looks good. And that Primal looks good as well, too, from the Samurai series. And we finally, finally got Swoop coming. My gosh, it's been about time, man. So, yeah. Hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up some comments. Are you excited for any of this stuff? You got to be. Come on now. And I guess I'll see you in the next What's New in Transformers. As always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.